How are you doing, guys? <clears throat> so, some of you asked to do a assembly video of uh, NASI modules into batteries. So I decided to, to fulfill that request. So here are uh, some of my printed boxes. I have two already made. They're fully assembled. There you go. So I have to make eight. And uh, I need to finish uh, removing some of, some of the stringing from 3D printing PTG. So I'll do that quick now. I want them to be as, as nice as, as they can be. Just a quick, quick job. So right, we have my cells here, uh, padded pads, and then bare pads, serious connectors, plastic screws, bolts, and nuts. Right. Uh, so we we actually. Don't need a log to assemble the modules. Don't need a hammer. Don't need zip ties. Only thing we need is a Phillips screwdriver. That's it. The very last ones, first one tight, two, three, four, five, six, there we go. Now, the step not to forget is to insert the square nuts. And there, they have some, uh, if you can see, a rounded edges. So that round edge goes towards the cells. Drop them in. That's it. Now, there is a wee, like a lock, locking edge. Insert that first. You need to squeeze the module to allow to grab for the edges to grab and, and compress the the pour on. Right. See? There's some string in left from printing, but it's fine. Right, now. Okay. Two screws here, there. Now 
That's it. Now we bend. And that's our module done. Let's do next one. Again. Empty box. There's a wee, like an angle slot, so you can insert tabs on the angle, so it does fit. Right. One goes in here. One goes in here. So if you need to push it back so it, it sits right. We need to align, align it's a bit made smaller for tolerances, but you sort of eye it so it's aligned with the uh, cell ribs. Again, cells, the last one, the first one, and then fill it up. Get the square nuts again, the the, <clears throat> the 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 rounded edges go towards the cells. It's just uh, the way they're made. Then close it, press it at the beginning, so it sort of guides in, and then close it in. All right. That's it. Two screws. Bend the, the tabs over the holes. That's another one. Okay. That's the next one. Tabs, padded one, insert on the angle, wiggle wiggle, so it fits. <laughs> right. Bare one. I don't want to increase the whole width, just you know, so it's less less of a gap for the moisture to come in. So that's it. It's in. Align it. I'm putting a negative side of the cell where the pad is uh, just because it's wider so it has a uh, a bigger area to play around and uh, well basically the other side is uh, solid in place so uh, in the beginning I thought I was gonna build a 14S 6P batteries and you can see the tray here from the initial design but then I started looking at different suppliers and uh, millings uh, of a fiberglass and it was just a pain in the ass you know to, to get all the parts sorted all the wiring soldered or, or crimped and then one night the idea came to just make modules it's simple so it drives the cost down and uh, becomes more affordable 
and some would think that it's expensive I mean you know I have to make something out of it too I invest my time and uh, our wages are crap and uh, if I can earn something you know I can develop you know build bikes and, and maybe come up with some other nice ideas <clears throat> so but when you think uh, it's not actually that you know much more to pay for for a system I mean you get you do this once and that's your cost uh, for example I, I I've asked a guy who's, who does uh, spot welding here in Lithuania and uh, I think he, he does it very cheaply. Oh, see, I forgot the square nuts. And he said something like uh, uh, the spot weld uh, a 10S60 uh, pack would be uh, would be something like 30 to 40 euros right okay so this system would come up uh, about 150 euros if you don't have 3d printer considerably less if you have one uh, for 10s you would actually for 11s uh, you need one kilogram of uh, 3D filament. So that's your cost. You know how cheaply you can get this, the, the the filament. And uh, and that's it. You paid once, and you just replace cells. You can split packs. You can reuse it. Uh, if you damage it, you reprint the the lid or the base, and and that's it. With spot welding, or oh, even if the cell goes bad, you open it up, get the new cell in, and that's it. With the spot welder pack, you know, it's actually a pain in the ass. And it's a single, you paid your 30, 40 euros, you know, cheapest, to build your battery. And if you don't have a protection, you still need to make a box, you still need to wrap it, and the, the battery looks shit. I mean, it's, it, it doesn't look nice. And I like my, my stuff to be nice. So, so regarding the cost, it's expensive, but when you look at long term, it's not that expensive, I mean, no, you don't need to buy new strip, uh, send it for someone to spot weld it, or spot weld it yourself with the, you know, with the risks of uh, puncturing the cells and all that stuff. It's all clean. You don't get half. You don't have to get dirty. Just, you know, it's like a Lego. Pleasant. And it's quick, it's very quick. I mean, you just insert cells like you would insert AA batteries into your remote, <laughs> and that's it. And it's modular, you can build whatever you want. I mean, that's a 6P, but you can, you can uh, get those modules. Uh, parallel for 30 amps, so you, whatever capacity of the cell is. Right, nuts. So that's regarding the cost. And uh, I'm a sole operator of this venture so I know everything about it ins and outs oops 
right, bend. One, two. Next one. Anyway, I should do all of them the same. And you know the, the sum you pay it's basically it's not it, it's also for a further development. I have one uh, better unit I will upload later <coughs> to my website which uh, doesn't require uh, these screws. Uh, it doesn't have lid and you can print the whole set, the whole battery pack. Uh, in one, uh, basically in one go because it prints like that upright uh, it has a, like a hexagon mesh so it's open as well and uh, you insert the cells through the bottom like a, like a gun clip so I don't know it will use the same tabs well at least they need to fix uh, my, my Autodesk Inventor files, uh, so it's compatible. I didn't know that. So if if in 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 some case uh, the modules would get damaged you would bend back the bend back the tabs and probably would reheat it with a gas torch uh, just to do you know anneal anneal copper so it goes back into a previous uh, state where it's soft and not brittle now this one is a fine so it must be it must be uh, just a printer uh, error, you know, in tightness. Mine is probably 0.2 millimeter. And the thing is, you 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 save a lot of uh, time um, be even before uh, making your battery. For example, you know. You order your nickel strip in China. So either you pay a lot of money for shipping or you wait a month. It's really time consuming. I hate waiting. This one, this one's a lot better. Right, let's insert those so we don't forget. Some people say that they're heavy. I mean, they do add some weight, the battery. But if you consider, you know, all the nickel strip and, and uh, everything else you still need to enclose it somehow the battery the glue that you use to connect them or the plastic holders it all adds up to to the weight and you know in the end well it's 15 percent but for 15 percent extra weight you gain you know so much more in terms of uh in terms of uh, easy building batteries, replacing cells on the fly, you know. I don't know, it's, it, I'm, I'm biased because it's my product, I'm proud of it. So let's go back now uh, to the very beginning. I think uh, it was three years ago. I was thinking about how to make it so we can build batteries fast, won't need to solder, you know. And stumbling on endless fear form, uh, a guy, uh, 
nicknamed Snuff, came, came up with a with the idea of using uh, a Rogers Poron uh, material, which is a low set foam, uh, to use it as a spring. And I sort of started looking at, at his idea, and I like the way he he was uh, he was you know so precise with with machining, and, and I really liked it. So I took that idea of his of using Poron uh, and started working on a, on a 14s 6p battery. I had some uh, designs. Uh, No, I think I don't have prototypes here, but I had uh, a couple of prototypes made, uh, a couple materials tested, some didn't work, uh, some worked, uh, and basically I was set on, on making it from uh, GFRP, so the glass reinforced uh, fiberglass board, basically same stuff. PCBs are made from and I was getting quotes from China uh, basically to mill two, two of these lids for uh, 60 quid so you know when you add up shipping when you add uh, spacer uh, custom spacers made and, and um, aluminium, uh, the, the surround trim, the price just goes through the roof and you know it's a lot of work uh, to source everything, to prepare to be a, like you know, to be a product, proper product and uh, it does some neglect you know with these modules I mean 3D printing is not optimal I know that but the size of the module is just right it's not too small so resolution is fine and it's not too large you know for it to flex too much so it just worked and look at that that's fucking sexy as hell And it's easy. See, you don't need brains to assemble them. You can talk, you can watch TV and, you know, I don't know, probably make some sports with, with your girlfriend or a boyfriend, whatever. Sports. <laughs> Oh, we're busy today. Queen! And so. Ah. That's it. More. And the last one. So, anyway, I hope you guys will like it, you'll use it, you'll buy it, if not buy it, maybe, maybe make it yourself, we'll see, it's all new to me too.
could be a fidget spinner as well. Fidget. Right. Bendy bendy. There we go. Right. I just set them up same way. Like that. And then that. 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 And that. Okay. Just to be safe and sound, so that should be negative. Yeah. Negative. Good. 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 Operated or hand screwdriver, that's all you need. Don't need banging. It's elegant. Oh, wrong way. You can use a, uh, I think it's eight. Yeah, 8mm spanner or socket or whatever, or the series tab connectors. Oh, I see. Hello. Hmm? You have a friend? Hmm. Okay. Right. So we have a negative on this side, positive on this side. Right? If we would want to parallel them with stick them like that and then uh, make make serious connectors and then do another set of those you know like that I'm just showing I'm not gonna build it and then there you go serious those together you might need longer screws so this should be enough this should be enough for uh, yeah for single anyway we're gonna make 10s 6p. So we turn around that like that, or or like that. Does it matter? Yeah. Uh, I want those uh, holes to be outside. You know, you can turn it like that as well. But I would like those holes. Uh, to the outside, you know, of the battery, and I'll show you why, maybe in uh, video round two. So, double check, always double check. Right, so we have negative, positive, good. Right, serious tab, some of them came out a bit rough, I don't know why, but I don't think it's gonna play any big role. I'm just gonna do it just like that. And okay. maybe we're gonna put it on the side so 
They're fine. Nice. Next one. Okay. Now, I'm gonna do the same. Just double check that. That's a, that's a negative, positive, negative. Nice. Okay. Again. Now, I need to get that. Hmm. So these are made, uh, the tab holes are made, you know, tight. I didn't want to lose any material, you know, just for the current. Let's see if you can do it. Right, two again. I think it's gonna be you just get more feel from the hand.
right. Put it on the side. No gaps. Okay. <coughs> so that's our 10S 6 feet battery. And we have uh, positive here, negative here. 34.59 volt. That's the first stage. I still need to print uh, 10 more because I'll have a 20, 20S battery for my bike. So it's going to be the same one, but there's three holes here. So uh, I will have a, a, like a ring terminal and wires attached to them. And attach a uh, balance wire to each terminal and then route it in the middle along with a, with a positive or negative you know thick wire to come out at one end and uh, I don't have a thinner zip ties but basically you know it's a it's a round loop so you insert it in one side and it just goes outside your zip ties and your wires are secure and nicely tucked in in the middle you know without touching any contacts and then I have these these printed from uh, Ninja Flex and they're rough uh, I still need to work on techniques how to print it because I'm, I'm a uh, like a you know novice in 3D printing so this would go like that just in case you drop something just like that and 3D you know drawings and models are again on the website you can download it even you can, you can inspect it online on the website there is a 3D view of them there we go right and then you have a say what so we have a wire with an end terminal let's let's quickly attach it just just to show you yeah. single bolt cap as well, so you put it here. And There's another one. So basically that's it. You know, that's how you build your battery. With Nessie modules. There we go. 
I just grabbed some wires I had laying about. So you would, you know, maybe do that and, and then, you know, you have two terminals. Zip tie the, the whole room, you know, with balance wires and then the, a positive or whatever it is. So, and you have enclosed battery. You know, you don't need anything else. You can put it straight into the bike. You know, just secure it some way, so, so, some way that it's not flying around in a bike. Strap it or whatever. You know, you can tape it. You can zip tie it. You can make a box, make a make a tray. You know, with the sides so it sits and then strap it like that. You know, there's many ways. And now. Uh, regarding those holes, why I wanted them to be outside. So, uh, I won't have uh, stainless steel, like a zip tie, a slot and zip tie. A stainless steel 4.7 millimeter and 0.2 millimeter in thickness. So you would insert one in here, right? This one is a short one. And it will loop around and go into this hole, and then come out of this hole, and then you would, you would, you know, tie it. You, you could do away with two. You could do away with four. You can, you can have four or, or five, whatever. You know, one, two, three, four, five. So those holes are meant to be for that as well. That was a. Uh, implemented in the beginning, you know, with the thought of how you would, you know, secure the whole battery in one piece. And if you are paranoid, you know, you can zip tie, I can probably show you, right, you can zip tie each individual modules as well. So you would strap, say, at the top and at the bottom with a stainless, and then you would have a, like, you know, so you just need to uh, it back. Right. and then push it out the other end and the other end like that yeah maybe like that which way it has to be, be bent back to the like that. Right. And then you know, that's a... Uh, oh yeah. Is Yeah, those are long ones. So, you can see. Yeah. Right. Like that. So, you have a loop here, and then you, and then you zip tie it in here. You know, this, the two modules are uh, sort of fixed. Get it pulled. If you like, I don't fancy this method, but you know, I think I'll be fine with it, with two steel straps, and, and that's it. So, I wonder, we need to wait. This tiny scale, so. What's the maximum in this? Two kilograms. Like this. Like that. Now, a bit more. So go with this.
So, that's basically a tutorial how to assemble them. And I'll probably do a, a next one, you know, attaching all the wiring and uh, probably, you know, mine is going to be, well, that's the thing, some other things. Uh, you need? Well, not a thing, but basically. Mine is going to be like that. You know, uh, going to sit on a cargo bike. On um, that cargo bike. On the bottom here. two stainless steel straps to tie them together and then uh, make a sort of a aluminium you know frame and just bolt it to, to, to the bottom of, of the box that's it nothing more maybe put some padding underneath and uh, put the uh, BMS on top so you know I have wires coming here somehow, weeded and nice and open. And that's that. I think it is uh, all I have to say about that. Good stuff.